and Rich Trapper tapping in. TNN Trap News Network. You feel me? Rich Trapper. The homie wanted you to uh, whitelist this shit too. Ooh. Rich Trapper. Rich Trapper. He be reacting to your shit. Trapper tapping in TNN Trap News Network, and we back in action with another reaction video. Back in this thing, back in this thing, like cook, cracking this thing, man. Back in this thing, back in this thing. That's right, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. More of this good content we got going on here at TNN Trap News Network. Some news you can use, some knowledge you can't get in college. Big dog, find me on all streaming platforms. Rich Trapper Game 6. Rich Trapper worth more than money. Rich Trapper, I'm better off without you. Start from scratch and a nightmare before Christmas is both out now, as well as my newest project. I'm still better off without you. Get into that if you ain't got into that. Find me on all streaming platforms, man. Make sure y'all get into that. Uh, my newest single, Stand By Me. Not Stand By Me. That's not the newest one. Something of Gone is out right now. Actually, make sure y'all get into that. If y'all ain't got into that. If you're trying to get some good promotion marketing advertising uh, from TNN Trap News Network, tap in. That way you could be like Tasty. Shout out to Tasty Live Resin. Premium Live Resins. Cannabis Derived Terpenes. Premium Category 3 Dissolute. No pesticides or heavy metals. If you're in your local cannabis dispensary, your local cannabis club, make sure y'all pop up on these tasties. Disposable live resin pens, man. Get into them. They're great for on the road. You might be in public somewhere. You don't want everybody to know that you're doing a little smokey yoki of the jokey yoki. Smokey is quite a little puff puff pass. Don't worry about it, big dog. Don't worry about it. But if you're not into the disposables, get you some of these rollables, man. And if you're going to get you a rollable, make sure it's the loose, the loose leaf by Desto Dub Honey Bourbon. Awful lot of loose leaves, awful lot of honey bourbons. Shout out to Desto Dub, man. Loose leaves, perfectly cut leaves for a perfect roll every single time. Shout out to loose leaves. If you need that promotion, again, T R A P N E W S N E T W O R X. We're giving away $200, big dog, and this is how you get $200. You drop a comment because the best comment between now and 10,000 subscribers, providing we get to 10,000 before May the 14th, is going to get a $150 cash app. The best comment between now and the end of April is going to get a $50 cash app. So make sure y'all get into that. We gave away 200, we gave away $150 over the weekend. So we just giving away this chili. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Today, we got Brick Baby. We got Lush. We got Adam22. We got Lush talking about sharp diss and Lush. I'm not even sure when and how that happened. But we finna jump into this Contiana. Let's go. $12. You feel me? Oh, so, no. Wow. We definitely, we got his whole block a lot. Yeah, so it's the a food spot next door. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's, I'm like, all right, the show. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Let our pain be champagne. Fuck it. You feel me? <laughs> so then we, uh, Go to the apartment. He's being cool as fuck. There's no indication whatsoever that there's even a sliver of animosity. But he, he did tell me beforehand, like, yo, is it cool if I, like, ask you some crazy shit? Or just, I'm like, bro, yeah. That can be an content. Yeah, but, but still, like, I wasn't, like, t I wasn't caught off guard. I mm -hmm. wasn't taken aback by it. Like, I feel like it just, um... It, maybe that's what he needed in order to transcend whatever feelings he has so we can get back to being cool. Maybe there is, like, I can understand having distrust, but I ain't over here trying to dick my ride my way back to no jumper. What happened... Trying to D my ride. Right. Was maybe there and is... we gonna all act like we didn't see Brick Baby Zone out? Wait, hold on. Brick Baby and we uh, space, go to the apartment. He's... Billy, we got hit. I'm here. I'm sure Not wherever he gets his Bel Air. Tab or whatever. whatever it was, he bought two bottles of Bel Air and a pack of cigarettes. I'm like, all right, the show. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Let our pain be champagne. Fuck it. You feel me? <laughs> so then we uh, go to the apartment. He's being cool as fuck. There's no indication whatsoever that there's even... Smoking cigarettes inside where there's no ventilation crazy. Sliver. Brick baby's finna zone all the way out. And we uh, go to the apartment. He's being cool as fuck. There's no indication whatsoever that there's even a sliver of animosity. But he, he did tell me beforehand, like, yo, is it cool if I, like... Paying attention is hard, big dog. Brick baby space all the way out. Focusing is super hard. Super hard. Super hard. That's that Molly from that weekend coming back to punch on that boy. Ask you some crazy shit or just... I'm like, bro, yeah. That can be an content. Yeah, but, but and then he thought about it and then he snapped back in. Okay, cool. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. Still, like, I wasn't like, t I wasn't caught off guard. I mm -hmm. wasn't taken aback by it. Like, I feel like it just, um, it, maybe that's what he needed in order to transcend whatever feelings he has so we can get back to being cool. Maybe there is, like, I can understand having distrust, but I ain't over here trying to dick my ride my way back to no jumper. What happened? Trying to D ride your way back to no jumper. You can't D your ride. If you do D your ride, that's totally other things, but. I would, there's no appropriate way to put anything as hard into this situation. So we're going to just, some things are difficult. Some things are difficult. 
just, we're not going to use heart. No Diddy. No Rat 100, three fingers doing this. Six, go back and lay on your bed. Go lay on your bed. Lay on your bed. You don't come over here bothering me. Lay on your bed. For those of y'all who don't know, man, I got a chupacabra, and I'm trying to get my chupacabra to act right. I'll show y'all the chupacabra later. I really do have a chupacabra. You don't think I'm going to... Six, come here. Come here. Why would I lie? Why would I lie? I got a chupacabra. Shout out to my dog, Six. Oh, she been scratching herself. Scratching herself, man. But shout out to Six. Six is a chupacabra. She's a Mexican hairless solo. XOLO. I have an actual chupacabra. Could have told you anything. Didn't have to tell you a lie. Lay down. Shout out to my chupacabra. Yes, I do have a chupacabra. My bad, I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button, but I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I do have a chupacabra, though. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. We're finna jump into this Contiana, though, without no further ado. It don't. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's get back to it. This ain't no motherfucking democracy. If you yeah. don't know, 22 Sir is the podcast Joseph Stalin. This is a dictatorship. You yeah. feel me? Like, my man's going. This is a dictatorship. This ain't no democracy. Okay, no, but no. we're going to do a metaphor. Can I be like. Kanye, like yeah. I, I would rather yeah, be yeah, like yeah, yeah. I'm the sure. overbearing, like overwhelmed maestro. And in my opinion, like when we're putting together a podcast, like just like Kanye's putting together a song, it's like I envision this fucking person on the hook. So we're gonna go out of our way to get them. If I if I can't see the vision for a certain show, like even like some of my regrets from the prior generation of No Jumper is that I wasn't more overbearing and more controlling because I feel like I could have stopped a lot of problems before they unfolded. I felt like I was being too lax. And if anything, now in this like current iteration, I want to be more on top of the, the the content and on top of like who's working together and everything like that. I don't consider myself actually to be as overbearing as a like Kanye, and I'm not like anywhere near as like involved as him but that's that's how i perceive myself is like no, i'm no. trying to put together podcasts that i believe will work and even even with this one it's like yes we've been through a shitload of different hosts over the past year we've been trying to find the right fit yeah it, it, like but oh. yeah because once t-rail and ad left that shook y'all to y'all core big dog y'all don't got no foundation so y'all trying to rebuild a foundation so yeah you gotta go through a whole bunch of one two steps like sierra because that foundation is gone Ultimately, the metaphor is based on the fact that it's your decision. You okay. feel me? And this ain't because he, because he was like, my vote is nay, <laughs> nay, like a yeah. horse, because my right. voice is horse. <laughs> and yeah. I've never, to my knowledge or my it's recollection, I don't think I ever had a conversation with Sharp of any consequence about not that you. you. Don't take people's opinions into consideration, but like back in the day, he stops a lot of bullshit. I'll be to cut you no, off. No, you did. When he forces certain people on that. We that I, I I learned like over the time because I used to tell them like don't have that person up here don't but guess what me and that person ain't trying to kill each other every day and, and this sit down might stop a lot of bullshit so right that's why I've been open mm. to the stuff that because he like shout out to AD for mentioning me in the story um y'all hey show some love to my man AD man if y'all ain't doing nothing right now make sure y'all stop for everything you're doing go show some. Go show, some, go show some love to Compton AD, man. Yesterday was his C day. We a day late in the dollar short, but make sure y'all go show some love to AD. Drop a comment, drop a like, man. Make sure y'all know that TNN Trap News Network got a lot of love for AD, man. That's bro on the, on the, uh, on the intro. Always showing love, always showing love. So shout out to AD. Happy C day to bro. Um, with that being said, I like how Brick Baby's figuring out how to use his words over his whoopties. I like what he did there, man. Adam 22, you know what I'm saying? Uh, fake negotiating gang truces. You feel really? me? Oh, you want to sit out? What you think? I won't sit out with a whole for niggas? Right. Like, what is you talking about? Like, I ain't tripping. I'm me. I didn't program with all these niggas behind the wall as friends. So right. I, I would love to show that side of everything when we are here. Like, mm. no, it's not always a negative with your ops. And, and that's like, a positive because people don't even realize that that exists. Yeah, so you're like, giving a glimpse into yeah, it. Yeah, because he starts drama sometimes by on accident. Like, it's never his objective to sit us down and then we bump it. And because if I have you do a podcast with a Hoover tomorrow, you know what narrative they're going to go? Especially Flacco. Adam-22 is starting a game Dang war in right Los right. Angeles. <laughs> Even if it's like a, a cordial conversation yeah. in which there is no indication that anything bad would possibly yeah. come from this. His it's titles, a gang war. Yeah, his, his titles are crazy. That's why we click. But you used to... Um, that's why we click. For those y'all who be so mad about the titles, that's why they cl that's why they click, big dog. The titles got to be interesting enough for your messy ass to want to clicky. You mad at me for clickbaiting you, but I'm mad at you for out being out here looking for mess. And you out here looking for negativity and mess, and I gave you something positive, and I, you mad, you clickbaiting me. You clickbaiting me. Stop being a messy little bitch. Stop looking for mess like a bitch. 
try to, I feel like, regulate certain situations and you would get like, like it was damn near like mutiny. Like everyone would be like, damn, why are you acting like such a dick? Why? Everyone would kind of like. Push Even the back. way it fell apart was basically like me trying to institute some small level of change on the podcast amongst the hosts. And then I got this big, oh, we're going to burn the house down thing or whatever, you know? Yeah. But anyway, okay, so talk no, about. No, you were talking bad about AD, talking ish about him, and then Lush went and told AD the issue was talking bad about him, and then you had to go stand on business, but you couldn't stand on business, and then that's how it went. You actually didn't have uh, disgruntled employees. You actually were talking bad about them, and you had to stand on the bad things you were saying about them, and yeah, that was actually What actually happened on it? Because I only seen a yeah. couple of short clips no, of you it, and Sharp. It, it was a dope pod, you feel me? And that was like, the energy was chill for the most part, but you know, Sharp. Sharp, it, like I enjoy listening to him talk because I'm a soak up game and like and he, like, but a lot of it, there is a whole bunch of like, well, if you gonna come back, church, like you feel me, it's gotta be like this, and you you gotta earn your spot, and I'm just like, bro, like I feel you, but it's it's low key, like like not your platform, yeah, like ultimately, like I, I with all it's respect. Low it's low-key not your place. It's low-key not your spot. You're not the boss like that, Sharp. Stick to maintaining a uh, damn homie and the blackout swings is what you trying to say, Lush. Due to everybody over here, no, you know what I mean? It's like, low key, not his platform. Yeah, exactly. Be telling you what, yeah, I can it, see where you're Exactly. From. Like, it don't really, like, that's cool you feel that way, and I respect your opinion, but it's truly inconsequential at the end of the but day. But I'm gotta watching. pick a side. Oh, hey. And, and look, yeah. my Kill Squad <laughs> application is still pending. You feel yeah. me? Like, nah, we accept everybody. It's all walks. Now that I got the sweatshirt uh, hoodie part off, I feel like I can more accurately rock this. <laughs> but, okay, were you just sitting there the whole time? Thinking like, I'm already back on the Tuesday show. Like, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Or I, what? I think he already knew because there was like Somebody murmurings. Might have told him. There yeah, was murmurings know. like throughout. Like, I think he kind of figured it out. And I, and I actually never said to him straight up like, "Yo, well, Adam invited me back on the Tuesday show, so it mm. don't." You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I didn't even allude to that off camera, but I was like, "Look, fool, like." I've grown a lot in the past year. I'm still a crazy motherfucker. I know I'm a wild card, and maybe I shouldn't even be like. I'm not asking to be. Put in privy conversations. You never asked I, to be on any of the shows. You never, you never were like, "Can I, I do a couple of segments on the news?" You were never like, "Let's do some interviews together." Me hollering at you was out of out of the blue. Like you, when I yeah. called you the other day, you didn't know that call was coming no, or that no, I was no. even thinking. About I it. enjoyed <laughs> the pod. Just the response from the people. We might have had little dialogue, but that shit don't mean nothing. That's just us talking. But like. Us being here and me sitting here for three to four hours without like hey. that was five hours. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like you know, and the the people, the fans, they say it all the time. It's like on the news, you see cocaine bots in there and all that. They like mm -hmm. where I'm like, hey, he might need to come back. I wasn't here when you was here, so and right. I never paid attention. So when I came, it was amidst the drama. So it was like, all right, I'm not gonna come in watching everybody talk bad about. The people that I'm in business with, so mm -hmm. I kind of and I didn't right. know where you stood with the shit, so I really wasn't even tapping in. I see your crib mag one. You're like, oh, this white boy's the hops. <laughs> yeah, 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 straight up. Like, yeah, nigga, I get it, fool. Yeah, like, like, like you know, we I come from gang. I, background, I, so it's like, oh, he from over there. I right, stay over there. Hmm. We from over here, and it sucks because I had to, uh, I had to tear down my fucking brick baby poster off my wall. I was hot. <laughs> I was hot when I found out he was a fan early on. Mm. I was like, ah, oh, remember I did. He, he, like, he left bro, me I'm waiting sorry, in the bliss. Bro, basically saying, Lush, I was dissing you, but now that you back, cool, we cool. This is what game banging looks like. If y'all ever wanted to see, wanted to see, wanted to see in real time what uh, game banging looks like, this is exactly what game banging looks like. Sometimes, even when you're not wrong, you're wrong because politics would just say you're wrong. Like in the situation of Lush, he actually wasn't wrong. Adam was talking bad about uh, AD. Lush being a good homie went and told AD what was said because his job was on the line, and he showed his loyalty to his homie. Adam essentially is the big homie, and he went against that. No jumper will be the set. He went against the set. Um, Lush ends up getting humiliated and fired, all off of giving his homie a heads up that something negative was going to happen. And, and then everybody who comes around, new, break baby, whoever, blah, 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 sharp, blah, blah, blah. Sharp's not new, but you'll get what I'm saying. Uh, pack you out. You're not good over here. Bow, 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 bow. Uh, elbow. Uh, leg drop. Uh, DDT. Boom. You feel me? People's elbow, uh, rock bottom, uh, stone cold center, boom, choke slam. All that happens to you, you feel me? They doing less bad. And then, oh, Adam said he good again? Okay, y'all good to back on the table. Like, bro, you know it's just business, right? Blah, blah. And now you have to have this awkward, uh, ha, ha, he, he friendship 
friendship moment with people who drug you like a dog and you got to act like it didn't happen. That's what game banger looks like in real time as far as Adam 22, no jumper is correlated with flesh. I just kind of hope that I could paint y'all a picture. So if you ever curious about game banging, it's kind of what it looks like. Um, the politics are fair until they're unfair and the politics are always politics until they're not politics. So you just might want to be a square like me and continue to stay square and green like tasty live resin lime cellos. Cannabis derived terpene, cannabis derived terpenes, excuse me, premium category three, distillate, no pesticides or heavy metals. Square and green, just like your boy. Square and green. Make sure you get these if you see them at your local dispensary. If you need these, make sure you get these too, man. Honey bourbon loose leaves. Shout out to Deso Dub. Shout out to Honey Bourbon. Awful lot of loose leaves. Awful lot of cough syrup. Awful lot of perfectly rolled leaves for a perfect, per perfectly cut. An awful lot of perfectly cut leaves for a perfect roll every single time. Words is hard. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Drink cold for six hours and he just said no. <laughs> <laughs> I DM'd him when he said that. When I said he supported, I was like, bro, my bad, bro. No, I, I sent screenshots shit. on my tweet. Yeah. tweets. From 2012, yeah, I'm before like, uh, anybody in LA was slapping your music. Like yeah, that. I, that's you fun. It's like, fun to take people into the Brick Baby lore because when Kareem was here, I did the same thing. We were driving back, yeah. and I was like, "Listen to the song," and I put on Six Drugs, and he's like, Six Drugs at one." Like, this is him. Yeah. What the fuck? He's like getting super into it because that's like a, a time when he was like more hanging out with me, listening yeah. to fucking music all the time. And you know, he's a long way fan. You oh, know? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. And, and ask my my homies, like one of my boys, my boy Smokey, that was here with me when we did the pod the one yeah. time he even said it was like when that song would come on i would get worried about lush if lush <laughs> is playing that song it's cracking like, yeah it's all back just literally, imagine what type of charge i, I was I, on when i made this song. I, I was off <laughs> se i had seven once you I feel me was I was on know, seven, know, seven or eight you i know, could only like, say six of them i don't know what the fuck <laughs> yeah. but for the record it was actually six that's not a rolling 60s reference no it was because people think alcohol is not a drug so okay. it says I was geeking on the I was spazzing on perks. <laughs> Nigga, look at me raw. You fuck around and get murked. Well, I say something about Molly and Nolly pouring the juice. And you something, 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 man, just drink under proof. I was six drugs at one time. time. Geek the fuck, fuck one when time. We, we, when we inevitably do another No Jumper live show, you must have a performance of that. Oh, yes. Sure. Yes. Sure. That'd be ill. If I start playing shit, you know what? When I start going through heartbreak, like, I haven't listened to music. Y'all think I really, like, so I, I started to grow like hate for rap that after that gun and shit. Like, mm -hmm. I haven't listened to none of my old shit. None of that. Like, the new verse that you put out recently on that song with Bro was hard, though. Yeah. I was like, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I've that been was like getting LA into a new me. Yeah, because it's that's like. LA brick. It's like, let me just get into a new me, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's because. I don't know. I don't want to talk about that right now. What do we? It um, was very current. Yeah. Uh, did we finish the the sharp story no, so there? I mean, essentially after the pod, as it, it was all love. You feel me? And even during, it wasn't like because the thing is, like, bro, like you invited me to your crib. I'm sitting here. I'm at your pad. You feel me? I'm not gonna like like could I have like pushed back more? It's like, bro, like honestly, I feel like you're making yourself look a little bit dated because these conversations have already been had. We already moved past it. People ain't even tripping on it anymore. It been needs to get brought up again cool you feel me i just mm. don't think it's that big of a deal but then again i see where he's coming up from because it's like we hadn't had that dialogue yet and there's someone that was once close to me and now we're working towards you know being homies again and like mm. I, he probably felt like where did y'all fall out at where, where we, it, it was the original figmunity yeah. breakout yeah 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 and then and then him him and adam were on a pod and he had had some words from like you know about me that i wasn't feeling so i responded and he wasn't right. feeling it and then we then, then we talked and squashed it but there wasn't any communication and this is over a year ago now mm, yeah. so it's like literally it's the first time seeing his face in over a year and like so did he did he sweet talk you into telling you no like my vote is nay. Did he yeah. keep it cool with you for like forty five minutes and then? No, it stayed no the whole time. No, right? no, the vote never changed. But like, <laughs> but, but, but what he said to me, what he said to me is, I hope that that I could change my vote. And like, you know, I mm. I hope he does too. You know, at the end of the day. But ultimately, like, I'm gonna do me regardless. I'm gonna be here regardless. I'm that. I like that's the first time one of the editors told me he said that was the first time that there's ever been me and Sharp on a pod together. Mm. We never did a single pod together at No Jumper. We might have like, they, bro said, Mikey said he had looked through all the fucking news. Yeah, because he wasn't really on the news back then because yeah. he still lived in Vegas, yeah. Yeah, and like, I mean, like, if you read the comments on the video, most people were like, chill out, Sharp. You feel me? It ain't that serious, bro. Mm. But like, but I get it. He felt like he needed to get that off. And like, 
We had a good ass time, regardless. The pod was over. We so kicked that, it for another. So that I don't know church. That was a sneak diss on the low. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know church. Who yeah. else have you had a better conversation with? I don't know church. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh <laughs> no, because I kind of. I kind of feel that way about both of you guys. Like, I feel like in terms of like building a podcast and I don't know what the fucking fans are going to think. I can't see the chat right now and everything, but I do feel like lush excels in like an extreme amount of hip hop knowledge. Brick baby excels in, in, in a way similar, but like more of a street perspective. And I feel like, I said this last week or whatever, and I'm really slowly going to have to fucking under take the, the, you put, under, <laughs> under the chin, chin right there, bro. I'm going to look fat as fuck, yeah. but uh, I feel like, a good no jumper show needs that the best era in a lot of people's opinions was the ad and house phone era before that sort of started to fall apart and when you think about it it's like you kind of had ad as the street perspective to some extent and then you had house phone which is more like the hipster fun whatever i feel like if anything i feel a lot more confident that we can cover the ground that i really want to cover in terms of actually talking about rap music and the culture with us three than any lineup that i have previously had in place and that's no shots at anybody else and i realize that we are in a time right now where it feels imperative that we be able to have conversations about what's going on in hip hop because mainstream hip hop is all of a sudden like way more interesting it's exciting yeah. than it's yeah. been in yeah, a long sure. of time and it's easy to forget that this did not exist a month ago or two exactly. months ago or whatever and like all of a sudden shit a lot of shit has changed people sure. forget academics was like bad pr after bad pr for like months a lot of people not to take anything away from the fact that obviously he controls a, a huge fucking audience and that his, his shit was still going or whatever, but it was like bad PR, bad PR. And then all of a sudden this shit comes up and it's like his perspective is so needed and him like guiding the narrative is so needed that all of a sudden it's like all oh, that shit has been swept away. And Ak is like seeing his star. I bet if we were going to Social Blade or whatever, even on. Yeah. Shout out to Academics. I'm the prize. I'm the prize. Right, academics, you let her know who the prize is, big dog. And Twitter or, or YouTube, whatever, I bet that his shit is glowing the fuck up right now. So, you think the big three bought hip hop back? Are we ready to do the big three conversation? Because I, I don't think uh, we're ready. I think we got to do a little bit more. Right before we get to that, no, all right, so we finna go ahead and end it before they go into the big three conversation, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe for more of this good content we got going on here at TNN Trap News Network. Some news you can use, some knowledge you can't get in college, big dog. Find me on all streaming platforms. Rich Trapper Game 6. Rich Trapper Worth More Than Money. Rich Trapper, I'm better off without you. Start from scratch the nightmare before Christmas is both out now, as well as my newest project. I'm still better off without you. Something of Gone is my newest single. Get into that. If you haven't got into that, and what you need to get into is some of these Trapper, Trapper Canna live rate. Tropicana Live Resin Tasty Disposable Live Resin Pans, man. Each one got a G in it. Make sure you get into these, man. These is cannabis-derived terpenes. Cannabis, premium category three, distillates, no pesticides or heavy metals like Aerosmith. You feel me? And if you need that, go ahead and get you some of these as well because you might got you a little bit of flour and put it in this honey bourbon loose leaf and give it a good roll. You dig? Honey bourbon loose leaves, man. Awful lot of loose leaves. Awful lot of honey bourbon loose leaves. It's an awful lot of cough syrup. Loose leaves. Perfectly cut leaves for a perfect roll every single time. Awful lot of rich shopping going on. We up out here to the next one, though. Hit that red dot. Slide it to the left. Figure out how to win some of this good chili we giving away. And if you want some advertising and marketing through TNN Trap News Network, find me on Trap. Instagram, Trap News Network, T-R-A-P-N-E-W-S-N-E-T-W-O-R-X. That's Trap News Network. Get into that until you can't get into no more, man. We up out there to the next one. It's Free Avenue Angel until he's free.